Hi, my name is Jojo, and welcome to day six of Countdown to Finale. Um, I recorded a previous day six, uh, and I uploaded it, but I didn't know that the video would cut off in the middle. So all you saw was black, and all you could hear me was all you, all you could hear was me. So I'm very sorry for those who saw that. Uh, I'm editing right now at like 10:30. So I literally, I kid you not, I have been recording. Or trying to record this day all day, just so I could uh, watch Shark Week at six o'clock. Um, I rushed things and I made rookie mistakes, so I'm very sorry. Um, thank God I have it recorded, so um, I'm gonna give it another try. This is uh, take six, <laughs> so um, we're gonna go to Photoshop to make our life point backgrounds. We're gonna go to File New. We're gonna make it one uh, twelve eighty by seven twenty. The same as our composition sizes in After Effects. Double click on the background to make it a layer. Layer 0, doesn't matter what you name it. Make sure your uh, colors are black and white. If your colors are different, just press D and they go back to default to black and white. Next, we're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Render, go to Clouds. Um, it'll render out a few pixelated uh, whites and blacks and shades in between. So it'll make formations of clouds as is. If you use different colors, it'll do the same. It'll use different color. It'll use colors from the, your primary and secondary colors to render out things like so. If you do it again, like so. Uh, we're going to do it black and white to be easy. So I'll press D, it goes back, make clouds again. Now usually I try to find a cloud formation that I like, just so it can be cool. That one looks like a face. There we go. That That's good enough for me. So after that, we're going to go to Filter, go to Pixelate, and go to Mesotint. This will pixelate the entire image into dots, strokes, or lines. We're going to use short lines. Hit OK, and I'll do that. With that done, go back to filter. We're going to use a lot of filters. We go back to we go to blur, we go to radio blur, put the amount to 100, put it to zoom, put it to best. You hit okay. You wait for it to blur out and it'll do that. Do it one more time. You go to blur, radio blur or you can just hit control F or select the top option. And there you have it. That alone can be a live point background. But let's get a little fancier. Um, let's duplicate the layer. Doesn't matter what you name it. We're gonna select the. F we're gonna click on the first layer. We're gonna go to Filter, Distort, Twirl. We're gonna twirl it about 120 degrees. There you go. Another live point background. Uh, we're going to hide that and go to the second layer, and we're going to do the same thing, except that we're going to twirl it the other way. So, negative 120. Done. Now, uh, you, if you want to use just this, the twirl, you, uh, if you want to colorize it, we'll go to Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, hit Colorize. Taking a while. Oh right, oops. Um, I selected the wrong layer. The first layer. My bad. Oopsie. Go back to hue and saturation. Hit colorize, and it should color it. Doesn't matter what color you want. It's whatever you want. We're gonna make red. We're gonna make the saturation. That's how much redness you want. Uh, about zero. Uh, that's if you want to colorize it. Uh, so, yeah, you can color it if you want. Or you can do another thing and go to the layer styles right here. Uh, underneath it says layer, then normal. We'll click on one of them, go to darken, and boom, there goes another life point background. Um, I use these because they're basic and they're awesome looking. You can keep going down to select your option. You can hit down when this is highlighted, select more options go down and even more um, so yeah get creative see I even made a flower 
So we'll go to Dat, File, Save for Webs and Devices. Make a JPEG, PNG, doesn't matter. Click Save, Save somewhere where you can find it. Then we're going to move on to After Effects. You're going to get the scene that you're going to do. As for my scene, we're going to take a scene from Season 2, Episode 6, Part 2, to be uh, accurate. This is when Sly... Well, this one slides plasma devices cut in half and he attacks and Red Ace uses magic cylinder. It should play. Uh, no! Ah. Wow, that's loud. My volume is at 60. Okay. Let me turn it down for me. I'll turn it down in post production. Um, so let's clean it up a bit like we always did. We go to our audio, see where the kid says cut. You want to cut it to about when Sly freaks out. Right there. Cut our beginning. Move it over. Go to the end, that's when Sly says cut right there, because you can see his mouth say cut. Go to our composition settings, turn it to HDTV 720, make it the comp duration where the video ends. Uh, his video is a little big, so we'll scale it down. There we go, we cleaned it up. Now we're going to add life point backgrounds. So I have these made for all the card heroes characters and a few extras. So we're going to take that and we're going to get a sound effect from folder one. It's called life point cycle and life point display. Life point display is when the life points appear and life point cycle is when the life points are going down. So when Sly is a little bit shocked that he's about to get attacked, that's when we want to put the life point cycle sound effect. So right as he's going up, right, one more frame, there. We'll put the life point display right. One frame because every sound effect is offset by one frame. As you can see right there, it starts one frame later. That sounds a little too loud, so we'll make it minus five, like all the rest. Check it out. Uh, no! Uh, no! Like so. Then we're gonna go to folder two of our sound effects. Uh, this is a uh, Forbidden Memories sound effects, which is awesome. I love Forbidden Memories. Such an awesome game. We're gonna use two sound effects. Or we're going to pick from one of two sound effects. We're going to pick from attack. Which I like to use for damages 2,000 or lower. And sound effect damage. Which I like to use for over 2,000. So we're going to use attack because Plasma Vice's attack was 26. Cut in half is 13. So about when he flinches. Right. One more frame over. Right there. We'll hit the attack. We'll line it up. Whoa, that's offset a lot. And that's really loud, so we'll make that one minus 10. Uh, no! Let's line it up a little bit more accurate. Go back a few frames. Uh, no! There we go, it's lined up. So about when this starts, the damage sound effect we'll put the light point cycle sound effect to match it so we'll line that up too so that when the damage is hit the life points also go down uh, no! Uh, uh, no! alright so we'll go to our life point display actually the sound effect starts at the offset 
so we'll start uh, we'll go to where it starts we'll get our life point background put it where it is scale it down no not the video control Z we'll scale it down to a proportionate size about like that move it over a little bigger move it right there now you don't need to uh, you don't need to track this one because you know life point backgrounds only stay in one sh one corner of the screen most of the time so with that done uh, that lines up perfectly when it appears like that so now we're gonna simulate life points we go to layer solid we're gonna make it black make comp size press ok move the beginning to where the sound effect starts because that's when it's gonna pop up we're gonna go to effects go to text and we're gonna go to numbers uh, I like to use my matrix bold small caps for numbers um, you can use any font you want you want to keep it right not center and there you see numbers uh, there's decimal places because there's a decimal place effects right there you want to put that to zero and put the value to 8000 there you have it uh, you have two uh, four ways to display you want to if the fill you just want the fill you want only the stroke you want fill over stroke, stroke over fill. I like to use just the stroke because it's cool. Usually people have it use the fill, but you can change that to any color, white, black, whichever. Uh, I like to use that as stroke only. So we're going to enlarge it, move it over, move it over with the position effects in the effect, not the layer. So move it down, center it make it smaller and there you have it life points what I like to do is I like to write the names of the people who's having the life points so I move the numbers down a little bit to make room for in the top click on the text options click on it and input sly hedo with that we'll make that match up with the stroke color we'll make it white I like to use Pristina to make fancy stuff fancy text we'll scale that down a bit obviously not that much we'll make it a little bigger so you know his name and position it a bit and a little more there you have it Slyhedo 8000 now with that you want to make it appear with the life points in the background <laughs> like so now to simulate the life points uh, we're gonna go to where the damage and life point cycle start which is about right there we're gonna click on our black solid one which holds the numbers effect and we're gonna click the keyframe on the value which is 8000 so to know where they end, go to your life point cycle wave and go to about right before this peak, which should be a frame before. That means uh, that's when the sound effect will issue the stop of the life points. So 13 minus 8,000 for this example. I know he has lower life points than this, I think. So 8,000 minus 13 is 67. Right there. And with that, you just render it out. The keyframes will make it go from a value of 8,000 to 67 for when it stops. So. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh. And there you have it. I'm gonna make the stroke width a little bigger so you see it. Uh, no. And that's how you simulate life points. Well, I hope the video doesn't cut to black this time. Uh, no questionnaires anymore because you guys don't like to participate, it seems. Um, check out the behind the scenes that I posted up. Uh, 
there's only going to be four more days of this, so bear with me. Uh, I hope this tutorial helps with the life points. No one asked me about life points, I just wanted to do it because it's a big part of uh, keeping track. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'm sorry about the previous episode 6 and hope this one's a little better. So uh, I'll see you guys on day 7 where we edit audio and day 8 where we shatter monsters when they're destroyed. So I'll see you guys later.